So I'm going to show you a bit another video on our incubator that uh, can be bought from mybreedersupply.com Home of Shipmate, the only way to ship semen across the country or around the world. Okay, so this is a uh, portable incubator and uh, the, the salient points about this are uh, it's insulated uh, so it will retain its uh, heat for some time after it's unplugged. Uh, a very important point is this thing runs on 12 volts. So there's a 12 volt plug right here. So the whole thing runs on 12 volts. So what you're looking at here is, is that you're looking at two temperatures. The bottom blue one is the, is the uh, set temperature and the top one is the current temperature. I just plugged it in a few minutes ago. So that current temperature, you can see the current temperature up above is rising slowly. It'll get to 101 and it'll stop. I can change the temperature so easily. By the way, I can change this thing to have it in centigrade if you're used to that. Or I can have it in Fahrenheit. And then if I want to change the temperature, I'm going to make it 100. And there we go, there's 101. So very easy to change it. There's 102. There's 101, make it at 100. Okay. So when you remove the power to this thing, we'll just do that, whoops, I just removed the power to it. When you plug the power back in, of course it remembers everything that's been set up, so you don't have to reset the thing up. So there we go, and it's back to doing everything it's supposed to do. So if you're gonna go on a trip somewhere, you can plug this into your car's cigarette lighter, and it comes with a cigarette lighter adapter. So that's a nice thing, is this thing's very portable, you can take it on a trip with you, if you've got a long trip home from a vet, if you go on vacation and you're concerned about a puppy, you can keep that puppy nice and warm while you're on the road. And because it's 12 volts, it is inherently safe. There's no 110 volt wires that somebody could chew through and get hurt. Okay, so now, the inside. Tammy will open it up for us. And there's a package inside with every box. There's a package inside with every box. <laughs> I and don't look, think so. <laughs> there it is. And you can see that when they're in there, it's nice and warm, they basically just get really calm. Now these are weak old puppies, so yes. you could hold seven or eight newborns in here. Oh yeah, easy. But these guys We've are little, had nine in there before. We've had nine in there before, yeah. exactly. So uh, there's a temperature sensor on the back wall, so you can just see what the temperature is inside the box. It's kind of a, it's a, right now it's set for about 85 degrees inside. The floor temperature is set for 100 degrees. And you put your hand down on here, it's just got a nice warmth to it. Now, let's just remove these puppies for a second. These are, by the way, Frenchy, Frenchy puppies. Our little first time lilac these babies. These are lilac Frenchy puppies, yes. Yeah. But these, are, these are lilac Frenchy boys. So we'll okay. get those guys out of there. And I'm just gonna put this guy up here. All right, so I'm just gonna remove this. All right, because I wanna show you the inside of this. So there is no exposed cabling anywhere in here at all, which means two things. First, it's inherently safe. There's nothing there that can hurt a puppy. And the other thing is, is Hurry. guess what? Puppies will poop and pee in here. Well, you can take disinfectant, you can take some Windex, you can take clot, bleach, you can wipe this thing out and make it completely safe. All right, so we'll put puppies back in because it's kind of cold outside. So we'll put puppies back in here. Don't have to have a towel on the bottom, but it's just really more, cold just, compared just. To what we had. It's nope. a pretty nice day. It is a nice day. Um, there's a, a light. So this light means that at night time, we'll close this thing up right now. If you close it up, you can, um, it's kind of, you're not gonna see it really in the daylight, but basically there's but enough light that you can see, see, yeah. There's enough light that you can see what's going, yeah, there you go, that's great. So I wanna plug it for a second, we'll, we'll see the difference. Go ahead and okay, unplug that. Unplug it. So I'll unplug it for a second and see how the light works. So there you can see it's just daylight. Plug it back in again. I'm trying to get it, so there we go, there's the light on. Okay, off. Uh, off on, yeah. And on. Yeah, so there's enough light there that at night time, you can open this thing up. If it's in your bedroom, it's not going to disturb somebody who's uh, in your bedroom with you, but you can see what's going on if there's a puppy that's crying. So and go, if you it. want to leave it just cracked, you can. Yes. It stays open. So if we crack. leave it for a long time, we'll leave it cracked for a little bit. Yeah, about but like you, that. you can close this thing up. There's enough ventilation on this thing that you're not yeah. going to asphyxiate yeah. a puppy. But, so it doesn't have uh, to have it cracked. Yeah. We, we normally crack it. Yeah. So the moisture, too. So what does it weigh, Terry? About 100 pounds? <sighs> not hardly. Yeah. Very light. Yeah. Pick it up with one finger with puppies in it. Virtually yeah. indestructible. If the puppies were in it, it'd be yep. even lighter. It yep. weren't in it. Yeah. Yep. Very neat and clean. And you can see right now, there we go with our target temperature. So there we go. It actually says 102, but it'll drop back down to 100. It's going back yeah, down to 100. Yeah, well, because we had it open. Yep. Right. So the key came on because then it's Before it'll hit back to right. 100. It'll hit back yeah. to 100. So very simple, um, inexpensive, um, great product. And it's available again at mybreedersupply.com. My breeder, M Y. Breeder, B R E E D E R, supply. 
S U P P L Y, myreadersupply.com. Okay. Thanks for looking and uh, enjoy. Bye bye.